What's up guys, in today's video I am going to be showing you five freelance sites that if you're a music producer you should consider advertising your services on to get a little bit more income every month. Now one quick disclaimer that I want to make for this video, these are not sites that you're going to sign up to and get work straight away. One of the things that I have learned over the past couple of years that you have to be patient and persevere with these sites to really reap the rewards and financial benefits. A couple of these sites definitely for me do a lot better than others but you should always advertise your services in as many places as possible and try and get as multiple income streams as you can because doing that makes life a lot easier for you as a producer and gives you more chance of getting more work in. So again as the title of this video suggests I'm going to be showing you five freelance sites that if you didn't know you should sign up to and advertise your services on if you want to earn more money as a producer. So number one is a site called Soundbetter. Now Soundbetter is one of the more pricey freelance sites if you want to pay to get yourself more exposure on there. What Soundbetter is it is a platform where you can advertise your service as a producer, singer, engineer, songwriter, mastering engineer, or a session musician. As you can see, there's a diverse amount of services out there. So whether you're watching as a producer or a songwriter, or even like more as an engineer, you can advertise your services on here. There are two different levels of sign up that you can go for. One of them is the free account where you don't get a lot of exposure and you won't get a lot of traffic and it'll take a lot of time for you to get service, but you get an account in there and it's just another place to advertise your services. But if you pay the lump sum, I believe it's just under $100 a month, that gets you a lot higher ranked on there. Now, out of all of the sites that we're looking at today, this one is probably the most professional to the standard in terms of producers that are already on there. You've got a lot of very successful producers on Soundbetter, which also means that you're going to be a small fish in a big pond when you jump in on there and you're going to be competing with some very serious all time producers. But don't let that deter you because you should obviously have faith in your ability. And at the same time, this is a very, very serious freelance site, which I'm sure probably a lot of you may have heard of. This used to be owned by Spotify, but recently Soundbetter bought out Spotify again, which I think probably is going to benefit this freelance site a lot more. And I think this freelance site is going to get a lot better in the next year. So keep an eye on it because I kind of feel like Spotify had taken a stranglehold of this site and the amount that you pay a month to get yourself more exposure had gone up. It used to be $50 and when Spotify took over, it went up to $100. So there's a lot of good things coming for this freelance site. So I highly recommend you sign up to it get a free account for now the next site i want to show you is fiverr and i have a fiverr account on here i've been on fiverr a couple of years and again like it's something that's done very well for me now but i've been on here a long time and i didn't get any success on here for a long time so again it took me like a year to get any traction going but i sell a multitude of different services on here this is also very good for photographers anyone in like the creative industry at all even artists whether you do voiceovers again with the engineering or songwriting or even if you are a graphic designer like this isn't even limited to music if anything this isn't even a music freelance site but again like vibe is very popular with freelancers in general so overall general freelancer site it's solid all round again it isn't specifically for music but it does well for me and again i've been on here a couple of years and i have no complaints about it at all so get an account and again make sure you're patient the next site i want to tell you about is air gigs air gigs is one i started on this year and this is one of the ones that i actually pay to be exposed a bit more on here and try and get a lot more services from as you can see i have four reviews i've done seven orders to date in here in the past three months paying i believe 30 dollars a month and out of $30, I spent $90 on ads. I have made just under a grand on here. So I definitely got my monies back and then some. So it's very worth it being on Air Gigs. There isn't as much traffic on here as other sites. I feel like Air Gigs is a fairly new site. I only recently got an app, which I think is a massive step in the right direction for this freelance site. But again, you have to be patient on it. Traffic isn't, I think, as big as it could be. There are some people, I think, who do have a lot of reviews on there. So it is possible to make a decent income off of air gigs. But again, get yourself signed up to here because I think it's a very good up and coming freelance site. The next site is People Per Hour. Now, this is a very, again, very mainstream freelance site overall, not just specifically for music. A lot of different services that are out there. And I have been on People Per Hour probably the longest because it was one of the first that I'd heard of freelancers. And if I'm being honest, I haven't got a lot of sales on here. But again, it's always worth having your services on here. Engineers, I think, do really well on here because there's people looking for audio editing. So audio editing services, I think, would do well on here, but I don't really offer that as much i'm more of a songwriter and producer which means that i haven't got the traffic but i have been tempted to optimize on here to, for audio editing so i'll do another video on that but again it's always good to sign up to this site as well because it's a very popular website for freelancers and you never know you may get more lucky than i did on here and the last site i want to show you is 
Upwork. Now, Upwork is it, it is a kind of a good site, but there's a hell of a load of competition on here. What happens on this site is people will advertise the service and they're doing and a budget, and then you have to put in an offer for how much you do the service for. Now, if you're someone who's a bit quiet, you can always put in a lower offer than other people on there. But it's one of them things where you don't always get work and you do have to pay money to get all like the available tokens. I think they're called to be able to submit an offer for services. Again, there is potential here to make a nice little bit of side income from this site Upwork, but you don't get any work just by sitting with the account. You have to be on here. You have to be actively looking for work, which I guess isn't the end of the world because, you know, as a freelancer, you kind of got to do that at the best of times. So again, that's why I highly recommend if you do have an Upwork account that you get yourself on there and you browse on there and try and look for work in your niche and then just put an offer in. And eventually over time, I'm sure you will get the work from here this for me is when i have more of my quiet periods of freelance then i'll find myself browsing on here just trying to find some extra work and then as a little extra another thing that i just want to think that you should definitely sign yourself up to is not really a sign up at all it is in fact advertising your services on instagram just a little bonus one it's pretty obvious that that is a thing but instagram still nowadays it's a very surefire way to advertise your services make sure that you're posting content though and reaching out to the right hashtags people looking for it and also make sure you're connecting with artists as well because the work is on there and the people to work with are on there but for instagram it's very important that you build connections because there's no algorithms there's no places to advertise your work in terms of just putting up on a profile you've got to reach out and do the work but again that's just a little bonus one which is pretty obvious but don't underestimate the power of networking social media because with everyone when it comes to social media if you put in the work you'll get the results but yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video on the five freelance sites you should sign up to as a producer or even a songwriter if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button this is the best way to support the channel but other than that i'll leave this video here guys keep making music and i'll see you in the next video